morning friends and welcome back. I'm going to show you how I made these heat proof trivets using downloaded images that I got off of Etsy and I'll tell you which stores I got the images from. This one is my own image that I printed from a picture I took of the creek across the road from us and I will let you know the names of these specific shops on Etsy where I got these other images because you can download them right now. You pay a small fee, you download them to your computer, then you print them out preferably on your laser printer. I'll have a link below if you're ready to get a laser printer. If you're not and you have an inkjet, I did experiment with an inkjet printer. I was only able to find an inkjet printer that used uh, the black and white inks and this is it. And you can see that some of the image peeled away as I was going through the process. Not a very big deal. It still looks pretty cool in the black and white. And if you want to try this with your inkjet printer, and that just means TM for transfer medium, which I'll tell you all about because this was a game changer for me, the transfer medium. Anyway, here's how I got this done. So this particular print, I got on Etsy and these are called digital downloads. These tiles are much larger than the tiles that you get at the home shopping stores. So I went to a tile place and found these much larger tiles since we want to put pots and pans over them. Now you want to print this out, your image, making sure that the print is large enough to cover the whole surface that you're going to be working on. And this particular print is from a shop on Etsy called Art Gaze, G-A-Z-E. The first thing I would like to do though is I'm going to put a coat of chalky finish for glass over my whole tile. You can see I'm almost out of it here, so I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel. This is made by DecoArt, by the way, and I'm going to put links down below. Hopefully we can get this. Sometimes you can get products and sometimes you can. It's really challenging during this time, but uh, you should be able to get this. I'm going to cover the whole tile. It, this will dry really quickly. Put it aside and now here's where I'm going to use my absolute new favorite product. I just was so excited by how this came out and you have to put one coat on the front. Now you really want to follow these instructions. You need to put one coat over your whole image and let it dry. Then you have to put one coat over your trivet and let that dry or tile. It's just a tile right now. So I'm going to cover this and you want to put a nice decent thick amount on here. If you tend to be light-handed, go a little heavy-handed and cover the whole surface with this transfer medium. We'll have links below for this transfer medium. Honestly, I have not been able to find it for a decent price on Amazon. Some people are gouging and doubling the price. So if you can find it in store, you can do that. Or you can go directly to the decoart.com website and make your purchases there where they'll sell it for the normal price. Now I have the paint on the tile that's dry. I got the tile from a place called Avalon Tile. So I don't know if you have one of those around you, but because it is a tile store, they've got a much larger selection of tiles than you would find in the big box stores. So this tile, as you can see, it is not perfectly flat or square. It's got some holes in here. That's okay. I love the look of this and I'm I'm very happy with the fact that this is already a rough texture to begin with. The tiles that have the very high gloss shiny surface on them, you want to avoid those if you can. It's much better to get these ones that you can actually seal with your chalk paint. Now the transfer medium. I'm going to let both of these dry. These are both dry now and I wanted to mention there's a little bit of writing right here. I believe that says Eddie 
Andrews, and I think that's who the artist is. If you have any writing, you really need to print this out in reverse on your printer. I wasn't too worried about it because I'm not going for the writing on this as much as just the image. So I didn't print it out in reverse. Just a little notice to you, if you need any type of text on your trivet, you want to make sure you print it in reverse. Now I'm going to add the second coat of transfer medium to both the trivet and the image. And while both of them are still wet, I'm going to place the image face down onto the trivet. Tile, trivet, I'm going to use those words uh, interchangeably here. And now that I have applied it to both pieces, I'm going to flip this over and I'm kind of carefully trying to line it up so that it fits over here evenly. It is not uh, crooked and probably the most important thing you want to do, make sure you're working in a very, very bright light. Turn this on an angle where you can see if there are any air bubbles. Whether there are or not, you want to use, this is what really helped me. I took a gallon bag and placed it over this and rubbed very thoroughly the whole surface of this. I pushed everything out to the sides. I did learn that it is, it is better really if you have a hard brayer to use the brayer and you don't want to saturate a rag, but you want to wet a rag and wring it out as much as possible and or a sponge and just go over this surface because what you'll start to notice is you can see a lot more air bubbles or places here. You see how there's some air bubbles? The better idea would have been if I used the brayer first. So what I'll do now is put the brayer put the plastic down and then put the brayer over top of it and I'm going to try to work from the center out I'm actually going to use a lot of pressure here pushing any glue or air bubbles out to the side since it's winter time I put these near a heat vent and left them there for about four hours then I came back and I took a wet rag. I'm sorry, it's a damp rag, not really a wet rag. I placed it over the surface so that I got the whole paper wet. And what will happen here is as you start to pull away the paper, because we've used that transfer medium underneath, your image will stay put on top of the trivet or tile. So you can do this with your fingers, but it can be really tiring and kind of wear out your fingertips and dry them out. So it's a good idea if you have a very scratchy old rag, as long as it's clean, but make sure it's just damp. You don't want it soaking wet. You don't need it hot or warm. And I'm just going to remove all of this excess paper. You may need to do this twice. Remove the first layer so that you can see right through to the image. Then as it dries, you may notice that there's a little bit of paper left on here. Just put it aside for about 15 minutes, come back, and then start to take away any little bit of paper that you might see left over on here again. You see that tiny bit of paper up there? I'm going to remove that. So guys, there is one restriction that I have. There is a product that I cannot show or mention in the video, but I will put the link down below. I'll put it in all caps because it is also crucial to the success of this project. And it will be the top coat that goes over this that can take those very high temperatures. So I am going to take this outside and I'm going to spray it. I'm going to put three coats of this spray over this and it takes several, several days to cure. Dry means you can touch it and it feels okay. Curing means it is completely cured and dried through and through. Then I'm taking these furniture tabs. I don't know what they're called, but they're to protect any of the countertops. And I will apply one to each corner of this 
trivet. It's now a trivet, right? <laughs> I'm going to apply one to each corner. And now I am going to do the final test. I've been boiling water in a very heavy pot. This is a craft pot that I use, so it's quite a mess. And I'm going to set it on top of the trivet. I'm also going to let it sit for a couple of minutes because I want to see if anything melts, if anything gets sticky or gooey. That will be the final test. I'm fast forwarding this just so you could see this is boiling water. I just took it off the stove and now I'm going to attempt to pick up the pot and let's see what happens as I pick up the pot. Nothing. And that's great because this is not sticking. I'm moving the pot around and my pot had a little bit of schmutzy stuff on the bottom. I should have cleaned it first that got onto the surface of my trivet. But the important thing is it did not stick. It didn't melt anything. You do want to be careful if you want to add glitter to this only because some glitter is plastic, some glitter can melt, some glitter can, it, it could mess up your project. So here's what I'll do. I'll just show you the rest of these, how they all came out. Let you know that the links are down below and thank you so much for subscribing and sharing. So this is the mermaid one. And this one is from the store called Art Gaze, G-A-Z-E. This is just one that I took by myself, uh, an image that I took that you can certainly do on with your computer, your images, and put it over one of these tiles. This one is from a store called Vintage Digital Shop. And I'm just letting you know, you can run over to Etsy right now and you can, I, I'm not getting anything out of this. I just want to tell you guys, I'm so excited that I don't have to just use napkins or papers. You can go on Etsy and find almost any type of image that you'd like. And this butterfly one is from a store on Etsy called Art Cult, C-U-L-T, another beauty. I did a couple of these. I have a few friends that live near the beach or on the beach, so of course I'm giving them the mermaid one. This is also one of my prints, but this was the black and white inkjet print that I did not do on a trivet, but as long as you follow all of these instructions, you can try this with your inkjet printer. I think you'll have a lot more success with a laser printer. You can go to one of the stores like Staples or the copy centers, take your own images, and have them make copies of it or you make copies of it in color because those are all laser prints. You may want to make like three or four different copies just so that you have extras in case you make a mistake. Now as long as you follow these instructions to the T, don't skip any of the steps, you will be fine. These are regular printer papers that I have in my printer. There's no special paper involved, which I don't think I had mentioned to you before. Sorry about that. So just use the regular papers. Use your own images. Use some images from Etsy. I have not tried this with magazine papers or anything like that. If you guys want to experiment and comment down below what you've done, what you've used, that's good too. You can see these have a beautiful high gloss on them. I am so excited with the way these came out. And again, the links are down below for everything that you need. I'm even going to put the link to the laser printer that I use down below because I was tired of running out to the Staples store. You can see a lot of glitter on these, but you know me and my glitter, guys. I experimented with a bunch of different things. I just want to caution you, if you use glitter, don't use too much. You, you don't want an uneven surface, for one thing. But sometimes the glitter can be plastic or can it can be a material that can't take the high heat. And of course, key to the success behind this is this deco art image transfer medium. I was using DecoArt's matte medium, gel medium, and I like that, but this just, I think this blows everything away that I have ever used. So there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We are having our whole bathroom gutted and redone next week, so I don't know if I can even make a video because I know it's going to be mayhem around here, and I will be jonesing to get back to the computer and work, but it's going to be way too noisy, and I think I'm going to be very 
busy next week. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'll miss you, my lovelies. I will, I'll try to make a video if I can. If there's downtime or something, I'll be right back and work on some, I'm already working on other projects. So I will see you guys soon. I'm glad I was able to talk today and say hi. Happy New Year to everybody, along with a serious good riddance to 2020. And I will see you, if not next week, the week after. All right, my friends, take it easy. Bye-bye.